eyes. Mankind have been fascinated by these quasi magical part of the body from times immemorial. If eyes are the windows to the soul, the irises are the windows to the health. Welcome to a new video of Quest of Truth. Hello everyone. Hope you are all in the best of spirit, health and disposition. I am Dr. Samaya Lansari in my quest for the pearls of wisdom from the ocean of knowledge to relieve the sufferings of my fellow beings. If you wish to accompany me in my journey, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to stay tuned. Now that's a picture of a human eye. The white part is called the sclera. The innermost circular black area is called the pupil. It is the aperture through which the light enters the eye. The colored portion around the pupil is called the iris. The thin pigmented muscular layer which contracts and expands to control the amount of light that enters through the pupil to focus on the retina. It is placed between the cornea and the lens. If you observe the iris carefully, you will see that it has complex tissue patterns which is unique for every person. So much so that it is about 10 times more accurate than fingerprinting for individual identification. It is developed from embryonic neuroectoderm. Is that it? Is it all about the intricately patterned tissue structure smaller than a dime? So my dear friends, let me introduce you to iris diagnosis or iridology. What is iridology? Iridology is the study of patterns, colors and other characteristics of the iris to determine the information about a person's systemic health. That is to say, iris diagnosis is the observation and diagnosis of disease from the iris and is sometimes referred to as iriscopy. Iris diagnosis is different from eye diagnosis which is used in TCM, traditional Chinese medicine where you look at the entire eye and the structures immediately surrounding it including the iris and pupil to uh, understand the patient's overall systemic health. But here we are just concerning ourselves with the iris. Who is the founder of iridology? You know the study of iris dates as far back as 1400 BC, references to it were also found in the texts of Hippocrates. But the father of iridology as we know it today is Dr. Ignaz von Pixley. Dr. Ignaz von Pixley was a Hungarian homeopath. In the year 1881, he published his method, which he devised after years of comparative study, in his book the discoveries in the field of natural science and medicine instruction in the study of diagnosis from the eye what is iridology all about dr ignat von pixley found out that there were certain indications in the iris which were directly related to certain organic diseases so by inductive logic localization of such a sign could mean the disease of the corresponding organ he also devised iris topography to aid in understanding the intricate tissue structure of the iris and their connections with the corresponding organs. Now you may ask, how can it help me as a homeopath? Iridology can help us as a complementary diagnostic tool, which like markings on a map would help us to chalk out the various psychological health risks, physiological functional derangements and personality traits which would point towards the morbid tendencies, functional predispositions and vulnerabilities to understand the limits of tolerance of a person, which would in turn help us in individualization. Did you find iris diagnosis interesting? Would you like me to share more about it? Let me know in the comment section below. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy.